I drink water out of plastic bottles fairly regularly when that's the only option I have. It's not my preference, but when traveling, for instance, sometimes it's the only thing you can find. Um, I, I'll buy glass bottles if I can, gladly pay more for it, but <clears throat> sometimes you can't find them. They're difficult to find here. Not too many places carry water in glass bottles. Plastic is always breaking down. So if you're drinking water in plastic bottles, uh, especially if the water, if the, the bottle's been exposed to heat or direct sunlight to break it down faster, you could be consuming plastic. I'd like to reduce my consumption of plastic. Um, we've probably all had the experience of drinking water and having it taste like plastic. It's got pla If that happens, I dump it out. I throw it away. I won't drink that. I'll buy another bottle somewhere else if, that's ha if that happens. But I mean, it's one of those things that sometimes that's all there is. Now, you know, one of the benefits of being well hydrated is that I don't need that much water. So the less that, of that stuff I need to take in, even if that's all there is, I may be taking in very little of it relative to what most people probably need to do. Yeah, I mean, I, I like Fiji too. It uh, always tastes pretty good. So I think it's probably not a bad choice. Like, and sometimes you can find glass, but it's a lot harder to find. Everyone familiar with what pH means? pH is the potential of hydrogen. It's what it stands for. And it's a measure of acidity. And it's really relative. You know, we think of, of uh, seven as being neutral, but really what we're measuring is the relative acidity of something. Um, so pH one is very acidic pH 2, and it's, it's a logarithmic scale. And what that means is that, let's go the other way. If we start at water, we go to pH 6, pH 6 is 10 times more acidic than water. And pH 5 is 100 times more acidic, and pH 4 is 1,000 times more acidic. Now, people sometimes freak out. Uh, some of you probably came across a video by a hysterical young woman who claimed that our water was pH 4 something. Um, it's not, we have it professionally tested every few months. It's generally right around seven. Uh, I think it was once as low as 6.2, but it's ranged normally from 6.8 to 7.2, right in that range, and that's, that's pretty good. But water in nature typically ranges between six and eight most of the time. There are sources of water that are gonna be more acidic, and there may be some that are, that are very alkaline, but typically it's gonna be between six and eight, and anything in that range is perfectly fine. Um, you know, in, when, that, when, when that video went up, first thing I did was I had the water immediately tested again because conditions in nature change, right? I mean, there's, it's just a question of what's, what's in the water. Uh, natural water always contains solids dissolved in it. And some people think that the still water advocates will tell you it should, you should have nothing in the water. But that's not true. Again, I, personally, I don't believe we can improve on nature. Now, there's roughly 25 million species all thriving on nature's spring and stream water, which always contains minerals. Uh, someone mentioned recently, I think the Hunzas came up in conversation. In Pakistan, I think I talked a little bit about them. You know, one, of the, one of the reasons, so supposedly, I, mean, I, I don't know how good their records are, et cetera, but you know, people say that they, they lived or still live or lived a very long time and that they look much younger than they really were. And I have a video talking about Hunza's and it's interesting because a lot of people are you know, commenting this, this, bullsh this is all crap, etc. And a Hunza speaks up and says, I'm from Hunza, I, you know, I moved, because most people, like there's no, there's no highways, there's no public transportation to get there, it's, a, it's, it's isolated. It's a, it's a difficult place to get to. And they're still largely cut off from the world. But, but here's a young man who'd moved away, and he said, you know, most of what Lauren is saying is true. This is true, this is how it is. So one of the reasons that people say these people live so long is because of the high mineral content of the water that they drink. They're up in the mountains, and the, the water, you know, these fast rushing mountain streams is constantly breaking the, the stone down. So they've got inorganic, minerals in their water, right? 
Some people say that's why they live so long. I mean, my, my own conclusion is that they live so long because they're doing everything right. Pretty, pretty much, not completely. But when we talk about, um, when I talk about how to create, let's say I've got a full day seminar, right? I'm usually gonna go into the seven keys to optimal health. How do we meet all the body's needs? What are they? Well, they're uh, optimal diet. And we optimal diet, most of you aren't going to be surprised to hear me say fruit focused on high, mo high water content, right? mono high water content fruit meals, simple green salads, um, small, if any, quantity of nuts and seeds, um, and really not much else. Um, they live in a place where there's, there are very few trees. They grow apricots, but there are very few trees. They're above the tree line. They're up in the, Al in the uh, alpine, you know, up above the tree line. Um, in Pakistan. And so there's not a lot of trees. They don't have fossil fuels. They don't have cooking fuels. So most of what they eat, they eat raw. They don't eat, they, it's not that they never cook, they do, but they don't have a lot of cooking fuel. So by default, they eat mostly raw food. They don't have a lot of food. So they eat far fewer calories than most people. That's proven in hundreds of studies to demonstrate a significant increase in longevity, right? Eating more than you need is never useful, no matter how high quality the food is. Uh, in animal studies, the average species, if you have its caloric intake, will live approximately 50% longer than, than normal. Uh, it makes a huge difference. Um, they do physical work. There's not a single office building in Hunzaland, right? Everyone scrapes their living off the land. So they're, you know, they're planting and harvesting and whatever they're doing, they're maintaining buildings. That they're, they, it's physical labor, that's all there is. Um, so they get plenty of exercise, they get plenty of sunlight, they have only fresh air, right? They're drinking clean water. I mean, they're meeting their body's needs really, really well. But it's just interesting to note that you know, where the distilled water people say, drinking these, having these inorganic minerals in your water is harmful to you, they thrive. Right? And there's actually no studies that demonstrate that, that having these minerals is harmful. Like every other animal species, they thrive with high levels of minerals in their water. So um, we don't need zero dissolved solids. It's perfectly fine to have dissolved solids in the water. Really the question is what are they? What are they made of? Because if they're inorganic minerals like the ones we need, we actually need to have some of these minerals in order for water to cross cell membranes and conduct electricity, right? So I had someone who should have known better once comment, well, then how come they put distilled water in batteries, right? Really? That's surprising you would ask me that because car batteries are called lead acid batteries. They conduct electricity not because of the distilled water, but because there's lead plates which create electrolysis. It's the movement of metals that allows electricity to be conducted. It doesn't happen otherwise, okay? So distilled water by itself, it's gonna take minerals out of the body. But anyway, um, back to pH. You know, the, the pH, pH can vary within this natural range. It's all fine. When, when this one video came out, I thought, well, what would happen if you were drinking pH four water? You know what I found? You want to hear, hear the long list of terrible effects of drinking pH 4 water? As far as science knows today, zero, none. There's no harmful effects of it whatsoever. Um, I'm willing to bet everybody here has had many drinks that were far lower pH. Anybody ever drink coffee, tea, soda, alcohol? Okay, all these things have a pH between two and a half and three and a half. Okay, um, so one of the things we want to understand, I mean, d does that mean if we're drinking pH four water, and, and, and we're not, I mean, I don't know if, I've never seen water that acidic, but if you were drinking that, would that mean that your body would become more acidic? No. It doesn't necessarily mean that. So let's look at the opposite, because today a lot of people are touting alkaline water. You should be drinking alkaline water to alkal alkalize your body. Does drinking water with a higher pH means your body is gonna become more alkaline? It doesn't work that way. 
Okay? It doesn't work that way. What alkalizes your body isn't the pH of the substance you're consuming, but what happens to that substance after your body processes through the body. Right? So oranges, grapefruits, they're pretty acidic. pH three and a half, for instance. It's pretty pretty acidic. Do they make our body more acidic? No. They make our body more alkaline. Okay? So you want to be clear that there's there's actually no valid science anywhere to support drinking alkaline water. You do not need to be looking for water that's alkaline. And something that's important to understand, bases burn more than acids. Bases burn more than acids. So if seven is neutral, and that's what pure water would be, theoretically, I mean, distilled water is acidic. It's not seven. I don't, I'm not sure I remember exactly why that is, but theoretically, if it's just water, it should be seven, it's not. But let's say you had pH neutral water, seven, and if you know, you're looking at that as your, your standard, would it be better to drink something that's pH four or something that's pH uh, 10? Well, the P, if the pH four were bad for you because of the acidity, if it burned you because of the acidity, it, it doesn't. But if it did, the pH 10 would burn more. Okay, because bases, that's anything, bases are alkaline, right? Anything over seven is, is, is a base. They burn more than acids. So some of the substances that like, can really harm you are substances that are highly alkaline. I'm trying to think of an example, some of the chemicals. I think lye, for instance, is highly alkaline. It'll burn you. I mean, like really, really, it's really harmful to you. You don't want it on your skin. Okay, but it's very high pH. It will actually burn more than the equivalent acid at the same distance from seven. Does that make sense? Okay, so ideally what you want is natural water that's, that's gonna be in the range of six to eight. That's generally speaking, that's gonna be the best you can do. You don't need anything that's more alkaline than that. Hi, enjoying my videos? If you'd like to learn much more, Check out the Academy for Vibrant Living, where our Vibrant Health course will teach you everything you need to know to take your health to an amazing new level. And if you'd like to turn your passion for health into a lucrative career, check out the health coaching course where you can become a professional certified health coach and help as many people as possible see amazing results.